We're here with West's new first team manager, Paul Marshall. First of all, Paul, welcome to West. How does it feel to be the new uh, new manager? Yeah, no, I'm buzzing for it. Um, it's an exciting club of exciting ambitions. Um, like I said, it's a club I've, I've admired for a while. Um, and I feel privileged, to be honest, to get this role so, so early in my managerial career. Can you tell us a little bit about your footballing background as a player and as a coach? Yeah, sure. So I was a professional. Um, came up, came through the ranks at Man City. Um, went on loan to like Aberdeen, Blackpool. That was in the Championship and the SPL. Walsall. Went, so. Oh, well, the Walsall was after that. So I went oh, to okay, the Football sorry. League after that. <laughs> yep. Walsall and Port Vale. Yep. Um, dropped out and non-league. Went to Halifax. Um, had a good few years at Halifax. Uh, playing under Neil Aspin. Some great times. So some good players. And then. Dropped down again, they went to the Bradford Park Avenue, Jacques and Ashton's in the Conference North, Alfredton. Um, yeah, so for something like that, dropped down again, went to Ashton United. Um, but I usually tried to play for the teams that was had ambition themselves, you know, so that's why I was probably so excited with this, because it kind of reminded me of my own career. I was always wanting to play for something, you know, and that might not necessarily mean playing at a higher league, you know, might playing in the league below for a team that's trying to get promoted rather than a team that's mid table the league above, more mm -hmm. enjoyable. So. Yeah, and um, you know you've you've not been coaching that long, but you had some success at Cheadle Town. What uh, what would you say to West supporters that what could they uh, expect from a Paul Marshall team? Yeah, I think from myself, uh, I've got a lot of football knowledge. I like to play a certain way. Um, I'm still new to coaching, um, so in terms of philosophy and stuff, I've got I'm quite thorough in what how I want that to be. But for me, it's it's my contacts, it's my staff. Mm -hmm. What I've got, Stephen Yarwood, um, assistant manager. Ben Wharton's going to come in as a, as a coach, but Ben's still a player. You know, it's a network of players that that a lot of managers, is, I don't believe, have. Mm -hmm. um, we've got that fortunate because we've, we've played at good, good clubs, good levels. You know, and we know quite a lot of people. So, in terms of, of West and what we can do, yeah, I do believe that through the network of players that we currently have between us, you know, we can get a really good good side out there that will do well. You mentioned about your philosophy, and you kind of still. Um Kind of learning that yourself as a coach what how would you describe it so far yeah for you for, you know, for myself I, I'm a, I, as a player I like, I like to play i like to pass the ball um as a manager i, I still do um but in terms of how i want the teams to play it's high tempo um always high tempo good, good quality obviously get the ball forward don't want to overplay create chances score score goals i think at Chida we built the record for the most goals ever scored in a season mm -hmm. um twice so it's, you, you'll see exciting football know that about it um, but on the flip side, we've got to be a bit careful in you know, how we recruit in terms of how we set up defensively, because um, that's also important because we don't get caught out. But no, it's it's, it's exciting attacking football. It's how we play, and it, the ball will be on the deck more than it's not. Um, that's the message. You mentioned a couple of the uh, back room staff that you bring with us. Can you tell us uh, about the others? Like, who, yeah, who, who's coming with you? So, uh, assistant manager Stephen Yarwood, he was, he was with me at Cheadle. So he's a um, big part of. Of, of my team um, from a recruitment point of view. Still actually a player, Steve. Um, he's in and amongst the lads, he's in the changing rooms, he joined in training. Um, you know, so in terms of morale, um, what's going through players' minds, yeah, I was normally on top of all of that. Uh, ben Wharton's going to come in as a player coach, still very much a player, but throughout the season, he's going to phase into being a coach. Things like working with the strikers, you know, finishing sessions, just adding his experience and value. Um, we've got Agis and the Aris, who's been in non-league now for about 20 odd years. Um, it's been at likes of RBA, Glossop, well versed, especially at this level. Knows what it takes. Um, we've got Zeki, Zeki Istanbulza. Zeki was with me at Cheadle. Um, Zeki's been a Man United coach for the past 10, 15 years. He works for Man United Academy. He's currently doing the under 12s. But again, he's an A-licensed coach. He's brilliant. He's great around the lads. From a technical point of view, I've learned personally a lot from him. Um, so buzzing he's, he's come. Um, I didn't think he was going to come at first, to be honest. Um, it's the draw of West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're delighted he's on board, and like you say, you'll, you, you'll see that he's, he's, his training sessions as well, in particular, are very technical, very good, and very enjoyable. And you mentioned uh, the recruitment's already begun for you. Um, so have you already started to speak to kind of potential new signings? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, when I left Cheadle, I did have a few options, um, different levels, different roles. I was speaking to those players because I was quite confident that I had a good core of players that wanted to play for me next year. They made that clear. It was just a case of me saying, 
yet. I've not decided yet. I'm just kind of hanging fire. So since I've got I've been appointed, I've been able to ring bring up lads and have those conversations. And we've had some, some exciting conversations with very good players. And are there kind of current West Squad players that you're hoping to speak to, kind of to be part of the team for next year? Or yeah, you know? definitely. Um, not going to come in and just dismantle it. Um, you know, there are some good players at the club. Um, I've not had a chance to speak to them yet, but I will be doing. But I'm not just going to come in and say, see you later. You know, I'm going to give everybody a fair crack at it. You mentioned um, you, know, you know, the expectation being quite clear about promotion. Like, How difficult a challenge is that? You know, um, yeah. Yeah, you, you, know, you know this league well, how hard is that? Yeah, no, listen, it, it, it's going to be tough. There's no doubt about it. Consistency is key. Um, how you play each game, you know, if, there'll be some games where you're not necessarily playing well, but you, you don't, if you can't win, you don't lose. You know, it's just about building consistency, um, getting a good core group of players who, who you know love playing together it's not going to be easy we know that for a stretch but i've done it before we know what it's like we did it at Cheadle. um that's how we build the squad to build the squad to to cope with that lads who are used to playing in pressure games who've been promoted um and get some match winners in there get get everybody else in there who we want to get in there and i think I think it's well achievable to be totally honest with you. I bet you're desperate to get started, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. I hope it was the first day today. Yeah. Um, especially with this weather. Um, pitch still looks class, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I was just looking forward to get started.